Hello guys, KP Shamino here. And as you guys can see, I got the unique rainbow trout in Oregon. And this is a guide how you need to catch the unique with the casting or spinning rod. This time it's a spinning rod because you need to make the distance. That was really strange. For the guys that saw my bobber version of this fish, we need to fish like 10 to 20 meters. But if you start throwing lures on that position, they don't bite very well. If you throw further than 40 meters to the waterfall, like in the past, uh, you got a lot of more action. So that's really strange. I'm not sure how that's even possible, because it seems that the fish that are sitting close to the shore don't like lures and like uh, large minnows and shiners. And the fish that are sitting a little bit further like lures. So yeah, it's strange. It's a game. So sometimes, yeah, stuff like this happens. I need to say, guys, I'm using a setup that is suitable for a level 14. It's under level 14 even. But it's hard. If you are not sure what you need to do if you catch this fish, I'm now showing you guys, I think, like the, the top weight fish that this fish can go. But it was almost over because he spooned me until 180 meters and I only had 120 meters. So I needed to calm him down and then get him in. But it was hard. If you are a little bit unsecure about how you need to get a fish like this, I mean uh, with technique wise, just wait a little bit until you're a little bit higher in level that you can go with the higher test. I'm just warning you guys that you don't get broken stuff. So let's keep this fish. Okay, the position. Let's have a look. It's uh, in Trout's Lair. So that's the place to be for the unique rainbow trout fish. So what you need to do is you just need to come over here a little bit to the right. And you see here a bed of weeds and like... On the other side of the lake, you see a waterfall. That's the, the marker that you need to have. And you need to throw to that marker. So you just throw. And I'm using 5 drag 3 speed. It's once again a simple stop and go. Because it's a bottom feeder fish. So stop and go works really well. And... Uh, yeah, it's not not that hard because you guys can see already I already got 22 kilograms of fish today and I'm using the narrow spoon 7G 1O hook. It works really well. I can make 64 meters of distance with this setup. So let's have a look that we can get like a rainbow trout. So just just be very patient. Yeah, that was a misclick. Yeah, sometimes it uh, it doesn't go up. Now it goes too up. I think it's like some construction under. And there is the fish. And I think probably a normal one. He comes very easy in. Yeah, he comes very easy in. So that is what you need to do, guys. What you uh, need to do is be sure that you are further than 40 meters. After 40 meters, the bite is going very fast down. So it's very strange, I know, because on 20 meters we can get the unique rainbow trout too, but it doesn't seem to work really well with lure. So throw with this setup 64 meters or 60 meters and stop at 40 meters, reel back in and go again. That's how you need to do it. Do the direction of the waterfall and you will catch a lot of rainbows and at some point you will get the unique too. It's not as good as the bobber version, because today there was a guy in the chat that got like seven uniques in one day with a large minnow. Seven uniques. Unbelievable. That's 50 gold for a level 14 to 60 zone. So nice trophy again. Trophy rainbow trout. So you guys see how it works. For the time. For the time. Uh, in my bobber version I set from 11 to 4 p.m. But it seems that somebody got one at 4.32. So I guess from 11 to 5. But once you go after 4, uh, 2 p.m., sorry, it's going drastically down. So the most activity is probably between noon and 2 p.m. But you can get them until 5 p.m. too. It's like uh, 11 to 5, that's 6 hour frame. I'm almost sure that you can get him to 6 p.m. too. But yeah. It's, it's unique time, but it's not that great. But yeah, it's unique time. So 11 to 5 p.m. will work really well. Let's have a look at the setup now. 
So I already said I went, I think, with the level 12 or 13 setup. So the guys that are level 14 can use this setup. Be sure, guys, you cannot keep the fish because you don't have the advanced license. Be sure that you know what you are doing. If you don't know what you are doing, you can use this setup to just get like trophies and normal rainbows. But if you go to unique, yeah, you need to be very careful. So if it goes away, don't reel in. Wait, just wait until it calms down, then reel in a little bit. If it goes again, stop reeling. That's the trick. Never reels when a fish goes away at the moment in fishing plan. Otherwise, you break stuff. Okay, that's a test of 4 kilograms, and that's a little bit a problem. 4 kilograms, I think, is a little bit too low to be very secure in catching him. I like more the 5 here. But then you need to go with the Tora, and the Tora is level 18. Okay, so the Jig Winner 217 gives 4 kilogram. Uh, then I'm going with the Callisto MG3000, that's 4 kg too, and the Mono 0.25 mm, that's, if I'm not mistaken, 3.6 kg. So the test can handle 3.6 kg, the fish is 3.3 and it's still really hard to get him, because he's a very strong fish and he gives a lot of fight. Then I'm using the Narrow Spoon 7G10 hook, what works too? What I know is the 14G 3O spinner, Rainbow Beetle, doesn't matter a lot. I guess the Jig Head uh, 2O uh, with the 7cm shed works too. So it's a little bit the same what I used in my previous movie before the 0 point, uh, 0 0.30 pet patch. So it's just the same. But this works really well. You can make the distance. And that's okay. If you go, of course, a little bit higher in level and you can acquire the Tora, uh, go with the Tora. Tora is a lot better. You just reel the unique rainbow in, like uh, in 5 seconds. So it's a little bit safer to do. Okay, that was it for the setup. A simple setup. Let's have a look at the net. And you guys already see, I got 15 rainbows. I got a lot of trophies. I got uh, one unique. So it's a really good farm. It's not that hard to get the normal and the trophies in. And here you see the unique rainbow. Still 7 gold, 192 experience. So really good experience. So that was it for the movie How to Catch the Unique uh, Rainbow in Oregon with a lure. If you go for it guys, I'm going to say it for the third time. If you go with this setup, be very, very careful. Don't break stuff. If you like the movie, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe please. And see you guys later. Because this week we are going to get like a new patch, a new lake. So I'm a little bit excited what they are going to bring for us. So see you guys later. Bye bye.